<laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. We didn't mean to do this. I swear to God. He went in one room. I went in another room. I sat down and looked at the screen and went, Really? <laughs> Dude. The guys in Buffalo Trace are going to be happy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back. But we're matchy matchy and it's precious. It kind of is. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I, I want to like stop this and like not. It feels weird, but anyway, I'm Dustin. I'm the bourbon guy. This is I'm the bourbon. I'm the bourbon guy. This is Keith. He's the music guy. Who I have a bourbon shirt? Yeah. So <laughs> really, all right. So that happened. Uh, we got another bourbon bribe though, so we're gonna keep this going. Uh, Lazy River Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Should I go get us matching hats? No. Do you have this hat? No. I don't no. think you have this one. I can one. go get us a couple of peerless hats. Don't do it. Next video. We'll do that in the next video. Y'all watch the next video if you want to see us be more matchy-matchy. No. Yeah, it's going to happen now. Oh, no. yep. it's not. Yeah. So anyway, we got Lazy River. I like uh, rivers. I don't really like them too lazy, though, because that's a lot of paddling. It's a lot of paddling when you're on a kayak, yeah. Yeah, so 90 proof. What uh, what song came in with this fish? Look, there's a fish on the bottom. I like, I like fish. <laughs> uh, so, Jody Messina, Bye we Bye. We did one of her. We did. We did uh, My Give Damn Is Busted. Yeah, I might have heard this song. Which I liked. I think this is one Andrea likes. Andrea did not buy this bribe, but I think this is a song that she likes. So uh, I may have heard this. Me. All right, well, let's check it out. See? What the? Are you familiar with Huey Lewis? Yeah, he was in that one Reba song. No, 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 his music. Oh, no. This this intro sounds like a Huey Lewis song. I'm going to start it over, but yeah. the band it's freaking weird well it looks like in the video at least they're trying to pull off the we're just street 
musicians thing. No, look at them. What? Look at them. I never looking back. So you remember, I think, 90s, mm -hmm. David Letterman, Paul, Friends. Paul Schaefer's band. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's the look. Okay, so this you're saying the song's probably from the 90s. Yeah. And it was in style. It was in Vogue, yeah. All right, I can... All right. I'll get you later, got a lid, put down on my accelerator and the rearview mirror torn. Interesting to him. Yeah, uh, I mean, kind of, kind of a cool tune. I mean, the the kind of the message is uh, clearly some dude and dudes will do this, stringing a chick along, and she's like, "Yeah, you're not worth it, bye." Which is good. Yes, that's that. the right thing to do. Do that. Correct. Get in your GTO and drive away in a so, cloud of dust and fuck him. Yeah, or know. you know. If you want to do donuts around him first, too, that's fun. <laughs> right. I was like, that's kind of cool. But, yeah. Yeah. That's a good good, good overall message. Definitely a 90s tune, though. You called that right. It seemed that way, yeah. Yeah. that's That felt, it felt almost. The, okay, hold up. Hold up. I got to ask a question to the ear. Hey, Mr. Ear. Is the only thing that made that country her vocal delivery? Pretty much. Because there was no other country in that song, right? Was there a steel a slide guitar, maybe? Or a steel guitar? There there may have been, but, I mean, you kind of called it out earlier in the song where this pretty easily could have been the theme to Friends. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. If the Ross and Rachel thing had started earlier in that Seriously? show. yeah. This could have been the theme song. And Ross would have been like, bye-bye? Uh, either one of them uh, at various points. Yeah, I don't know. I know too goddamn much about that show. But anyway. <laughs> Clearly. This could have been the theme song to it. Very 90s. Very 90s. That's, yeah. that's, that's yep, yep. No, not that it was bad. Plus, I enjoyed the uh, video footage of that GTO. Yeah, which is amazing to me because you don't... Yeah. You're not a big fan of muscle cars. I, I'm really not a huge fan of muscle cars, um, but that was a pretty cherry looking GTO. That was man. a nice one. She ripped the mirror off though. Yeah, but those things are like fucking fourteen dollars, and you just glue them back on. I know. I've replaced <laughs> them. I've told Connor like he'll be driving the truck down the road, and he'll go to adjust the mirror. Point. Well, so he'll grab it from the middle. I'm like, don't do that. You never grab it from the middle. That's how you make it go point. Yeah. <laughs> and I've glued a num at least three rear view mirrors. Not all of mine. I think the, the last one that I had to do. With the little metal thing that you have to put up yeah, there first and then slide it on. I Ugh. think the last one that I had to do was. Pontiac? No. Ooh, mine was. That's funny. Uh, it was a Mustang. I, pulled, I did exactly that. I grabbed it in the middle. Never grab it in the middle. And rip the mirror right off. Because you will rip stuff. it right off. Yeah. you got to grab it from the sides. So tell me what you think. Man. This one's not bad. 
Well, this one I like a little bit more than some others we've had recently. Uh, I think because it's simple, but there's cocoa in it too, which I'm like, hmm, I like that. So I'm just getting a ton of cinnamon with this one. I get a little cocoa in the mid palate and the finish, especially in the finish. Wow, that's creeping up on me. Yeah, it's it hangs out there. Ton of cinnamon though. Up front. Little bit. Uh, well, actually, not a little bit. Kind of a significant amount of corn sweetness up front with that cinnamon. Yeah. Which almost is, like pancakes. Cinnamon pancakes. French toast. French toast. That's perfect. So French toast up front. Chocolate syrup on the back. Yeah. Breakfast in the glass. Well, I know what I'm having in the morning. <laughs> that, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That's kind of, that's funny. I would not call this smooth. What proof was it? It was 90. Yeah, it's got a little burn for 90. It's not terrible, though. It's not a bad burn. Yeah, I just wouldn't call it's, it smooth. It's not smooth. You're right. That's that's accurate. This is the bottle. I wouldn't really call it a lazy river either. No, it's a little more dynamic than that. Yeah. Um, I, I tell you what, um, as far as quality of, of the drink in general goes, man, this is not bad. I would... I'd probably put this in the thirty-five to forty dollar range in terms of what I'd be willing to spend. Do you, you know where it's priced? I can look it up in like three seconds. Cause I did Lazy River. Uh, uh, there it is, thirty-four ninety-nine. It's priced right. Yeah, yeah, it's priced right. That's and the right price. Not bad, and um, I think maybe it's a little hot. For a daily. But it's a nice change up. It, it is. So this is the one where you might sit next to the daily. And. You're like I want a different taste. I want, I want something different. Yeah. You know, I, I want some French toast. This is interesting. Distilled in Kentucky. Okay. Bottled by Distillers Products Fairfield, California. Well that's weird. Yeah. Why are they shipping this to California to bottle it? Well, apparently they sourced it out of Kentucky. So, it's a California distillery. <laughs> Using Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> yep. And they didn't call it, a, they did call it a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. That's right there. So, basically, we've got a California distributor here. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I wonder who they're sourcing from in Kentucky. I could take a guess. Bardstown? Yeah. I don't think so. Doesn't t uh yeah it does kind of taste like Bardstown, dude. No. Yeah it does. Yeah it does. Holy shit! I'm betting, dude. Right in the mid palate. Bardstown all the way. That's Bardstown mid palate. Yep. Holy shit, you're right. A little bit of Bardstown finish too. Yep. Mm. It doesn't taste like they aged it as long as they do their normal stuff, though. It's young, Bardstown. Take a big sip. Always try to get me drunk on the channel. Then he calls me an alcoholic. Whoa. This is not smooth. <laughs> no, it's not. God damn. Tell me you don't get that Bardstown out of that. It's a... I get it. Ugh. I took too big of a drink. I get it uh, in the mid palate still. Still in the mid palate. Yeah. All right. But we've had Bards. So that's, that's this is Bardstown dry mash. Mm, it does taste like that. Holy shit. Yeah. Because we've had. What, so, Lazy River. Yeah. Call us out if we're wrong. Yeah. Tell us in the comments. Yeah. We'll tag you. Um, so what I'm getting is, well, we've been to Bardstown. We've done their tour, right? Yeah. Uh, what I get is, I get that Bard. So when you do the, the Bardstown tour, 
you get a couple of different of their white dogs. Mm-hmm. And they've got one white dog that is not this one that you're like, oh, damn. Because it is huge raw pepper. Just. But it's it's drinkable. Like Oh, that one. Yeah. So, so yeah, you get a bunch it's of different ones. There's one that's like, a, uh, it's so raw. It's like, oh, my God. And that's this one. Right. When you hit the the uh, weeded that they have and they give you as moonshine, I w- we actually, all of us, there were four of us together doing that, and every one of us was like, we want a bottle of this. Exactly this stuff. This they, white dog slash moonshine, because it was so damn good. They were thinking about actually selling it. I wish they would. I wonder if they've got it up yet. I need know. to check it out. I need to go back down there. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey... Um, not bad. Yeah. Uh, for the price, we think it's priced right. Yeah, it's a good bar town. And Bardstown is usually expensive. We don't know that this is Bardstown. We don't know that. You're right, but... Sure tastes like it, but we don't know Tell that. us in the comments. Let us know. If you... Let us know where you sourced it. Yeah. So, hey, if you uh, enjoyed this video, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Get down in the comments. Tell us what songs we need to check out, what bourbons we need to drink. And if you're impatient about getting your song to the front of our extensive list. Or if you just like watching a couple idiots react to what you want us to react to. Do like she did. Yeah. Send us a bottle and uh, we'll propel your song to the front of our list. Till next time, guys. See you.